All right, we're just getting started over here at the USDA Tropical Research Center in Coral Gables, and this is a few hundred acre site that's in the middle of just a drop dead gorgeous neighborhood. Um, behind me, I was driving down the main road and we dropped Matt off back there for some coconuts and he's grabbing some sprouted coconuts, is what they call Big Pink. Um, this is a plant that's just being released. Supposedly it's very cold hardy like a crepe myrtle. Goes deciduous in the winter time. Ian, let's see them cuttings, bro. Look at this. So we're gonna bring this back and propagate it. You know, and this site's basically like a germplasm. They're holding all of these different species. So, you know, if they get lost at a different site, we can always come here and get cuttings. So almost anybody that's doing research has a far, you know, farm, you know, into growing tropical fruits, you can basically come out to this place, request, come get cuttings, come get seeds, um, any type of propagation material you want. So we're just getting started. I'm even getting some plumeria. If you look over here across the way, we're gonna yonder over this way now. They have the second largest plumeria um, bank, I guess you could say, almost like a seed bank, but a plumeria bank right here in Coral Gables. So this is the backup plumeria bank to the one that they have in Hawaii, which is the largest plumeria bank, I believe, in the country. We've got my man Q over here. He is the uh, caretaker of Jubilee Organics. I think he's kind of geeking out on one of these plumerias, and we've basically been told if you take a cutting, take a picture of the tag, and uh, share it. So I'm going to show you all some of these flowers right now. I mean, this is just something else. Look at these. You guys got to excuse me here, getting comfortable with the new camera. Not used to doing the filming myself, but Melissa couldn't make this trip and couldn't really leave here without showing you all some of this quality. It smell good too. Unbelievable. So this is what they make the lays out of in Hawaii. This is just a plain white color. I mean, you know, every variety here is different. So we've been passing these trees the whole way down to South Florida and Royal Point Santas are popping right now and it's kind of the last of the foo-foo stuff for you. Y'all have to check out this tree though, it's something else. And these things glow from 10, 15 miles away. We're gonna be putting some of these in at the Jubilee Project. Royal Point Sienna. How small these things are. All right, so Fairchild is breeding for some smaller jackfruits. Show us what we got here, Matt. That can't be more than eight pounds or something. Woo! These are really nice. The one up there is Almost maybe basketball sized jackfruits. These are all. Maybe 15th the most. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Are those on the ground, Ian? Show us those. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. So you can see these, you know, coliferous production, the way they grow off the trunk like that. This one has a real small leaf, too. I know. I noticed it from the distance. I didn't even think it was a jackfruit. I know they're doing some breeding for smaller fruits. Wow. Let's get up in here and just really look at these. All right, what did we find over here, guys? This is a My One jackfruit. Whoa. This one was laying on the ground. We're going to have to check it out. Edible? <laughs> this side is. <laughs> <laughs> is the other side uh, alive? Yeah, the other side's pretty alive. Pretty alive. Really crunchy. What do you think? That's a 25 pounder, 30 pounder, maybe? It's not yeah. super sweet, but it's pretty not good. super sweet. It's really really crunchy. Yeah. It looks low latex, nice and crunchy. It's not a deep flavor profile, huh? Look at this tree. Mm, yeah. Wow. Hey, what do you got in your shirt over here, Q? Oh, uh, you know, just some mangoes. Oh, stuff. just another day of carrying mangoes in your shirt? Yeah, it's no big deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what the picking bag's for. <laughs> All right, we're having some problems out here today. <laughs> this tree is awesome looking. There's a small yellow one, too. Yeah. Y'all get your hands on this fruit. You can see there's one up there on the branch. It's a beautiful tree. All right, we just came across this crazy Garcinia. You got any of those fruits, Ian? Garcinia spicata. Spicata. A little. And it has a really one. cool growth pattern. I mean, look at this thing. Really upright, has a small kind of compact leaf like a autocarpus or a jackfruit. Right over here on this side, we've got a large imbe. I have one of these in my greenhouse. I've never seen one this big. Never realized they could get this big. Um, this thing's a monster. Obviously, never gonna let it get this big. And hopefully, the fruits are pretty good. This one's flowering. I'll show you all some flowers on it real quick. Here's 
There's the little flowers. Let's check this thing out, Matt. What do we got going on? Fruit? This one's lost the tag. Oh my god. Look at that. This guy must make some type of coliferous production, like the Japotacaba and the jackfruit does. It almost looked like it had the little like silk floss nubs from the distance, but these are all flowers littered on the ground. That other tree has a tag on it, but it's more than different leaves. Well, these aren't the same variety, but they're probably in the same family. This is pretty cool looking, definitely pretty old too. What are we working with? I'm not even gonna try. Pretty cool, they got URL codes for every plant and tree out here if they can maintain or keep them. Really cool looking tree. Last time I was out here it was winter time and looked nothing like this. All right, we're almost done here at the uh, USDA Tropical Research Center and we were driving out the main road and Q was over here picking these up off the ground and we actually planted one of these at Jubilee and this is pretty much the largest perennial vegetable tree in the world sitting here behind us and these are the fruits that come down off of it and behind Q over here we have a baobab. They actually hollow these out, store water in them. I've heard of even people even living in these making like a small living quarters. You can see how large that tree is. It's probably, I don't know, you guys, 12 foot around? At least, at least 12 foot. I bet we can all connect our arms and not get all the way around it. But I believe the young leaves are edible on this, right? Uh, Q, school, school, school me on this, brother. Edible? Tastes edible to me. Tastes edible to you, so. Pretty good, I'd eat it in a salad. Baobab. We planted a couple of these, like I said, at Jubilee. Let's see if we can see a species on this one. Diginata. So this is the dig Digitata or whatever, the same variety, I believe, that uh, we brought out to Ryan. Wow. So, this is a giant ver uh, perennial vegetable, guys. It doesn't get any bigger than this. I believe these trees come from Africa, right?